This is the TV news for Wednesday, January 5th. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and first off, we send you right over to Susan Hibben and the Programming Pulse. The Programming Pulse is brought to you by Way Out There. Now's your chance to get the Tonight Show of the Paranormal. That's Way Out There. Here are the major changes, besides the obvious changes in the judging panel, coming to the new season of American Idol, which premieres Wednesday, January 19th on Fox. An amped up set an accelerated elimination process. Original songs will be performed. And last, but certainly not least, finally, finally, online voting will be utilized. Now, will all of these changes contribute to Idol holding the line on ratings? Stay tuned. You know what viewers need? Yep, yet another cake show. And we TV will bring the number of cake shows to something like a baker's dozen when their crummy entry, Staten Island Cakes, comes out of the oven this June. A show of hands. Who wants to go to gladiator school and learn new ways to eviscerate their fellow man? I know I do. STARS is banking for a lot of new students at GU, at the Gladiator University when they launch an iPad app that will coincide with the premiere of their Spartacus prequel series, Gods of the Arena. Happy carving. Well, you can breathe easy. Nick has given SpongeBob SquarePants a new season order for 26 episodes. And finally, in broadcast syndication, the show that refused to be executed, Judge Karen's Court has been given a green light by Lytton for a 2011-2012 season. All rise for Judge Karen. I'm Susan Hibben, and I'll see you next week here on the Programming Pulse. Well, hey, we got the first numbers for OWN. We got the first numbers for OWN. You know what? They are not bad. Mm -hmm. The new Oprah Winfrey Network launched on New Year's Day, and the first night in prime time was a good time for all as back-to-back -back episodes of season 25, Oprah Behind the Scenes, and Oprah's Guide to Own averaged 1.2 million viewers and was the number three network with women 25 to 54. Impressive. Now, Sunday night did not fare quite as well, but was no ridding slouch, as Oprah's All-Stars and Masterclass averaged just shy of 825,000 viewers. So far, so good for OWN. Let's talk 3D TV for a moment, shall we? At the Consumer Electronics Show this week, the Discovery, Sony, and IMAX 3D TV initiative is expected to announce their brand name. Don't tell anyone, but it's going to be called 3Net. Now, across the pond, B Sky B is making noises about producing and delivering the royal wedding on April 29th in 3D. Hey, who doesn't want those I do's protruding out into the living room? And back here in the States, Comcast 3D VOD channel has secured a bevy of HBO 3D movies like Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, Monsters vs. Aliens, and Clash of the Titans. Hopefully on deck for Comcast 3D will be the 3D version of Avatar. Future events and opportunities. Brought to you by Sando Communications. Sound judgment, solid credibility, and superior results. This is Sando Communications. All right, did you see all three parts of the second annual Duh Awards? Well, you still can by clicking on our archives at the TVnews.tv. And by the way, Duh Awards viewership is up by over 70% over 2009, and we have you to thank for that. Thanks. And speaking of the TVnews.tv viewership over the holidays, the TV News eclipsed 250,000 views by media execs and pros just like you. So now is the time to become a sponsor of the TV News and take advantage of these kind of numbers. Now to get started, email us at advertise at the tvnews.tv. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. We will be back tomorrow in force with top news and Arthur Sando will be here to report on what's happening from a PR perspective 
with the impending launch of CNN's Piers Morgan Tonight. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thanks for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.